Would you ever get numbers tattooed on you? I would. You would? What would you get? Number one. Why is that? Because that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'll be doing a pretty simplistic tattoo of triple eights on my wife. Before we get started, I wanted to extend my gratitude for those who have been sending positive vibes and great comments my way. And it seems as though I've also been able to assist some other people on their own personal tattooing journeys, so I'm really grateful to have had this opportunity to help anyone else out. I also want to give thanks for those who continue to subscribe, like, and comment on the channel. It means everything to me, so. Thank you very much. And that brings me to my next point. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Now, before I talked with my wife about her tattoo, I had something more extensive planned and had a whole knee piece drawn out to tattoo on myself. But unfortunately, I struggled for hours trying to get the stencil the right way. So my wife hopped right up and said, why don't you just tattoo me instead? I agreed to it since I had struggled with the stencil on my knee for a few hours, including going back to my tablet and redrawing different aspects of it and playing with different sizes and everything. I still couldn't get it to work well with the contours of my knee, but that's alright. I'm grateful she stepped up for an idea for what she wanted. Now numbers can mean many different things to different people. It can be a spiritual or religious meaning. Uh, it could tap into beliefs and assurances through numerology or angel numbers for others. And whatever the case, my wife gravitated towards 888 as being a very important number for her. In this tattoo, I used a standard seven round liner for the lining and some touch-ups with a standard five round shader for the packing of the black and then a standard three round liner for white to add a little separation. I'm not sure if I enjoyed this position for her that much since it almost felt like I was leaning and extending my arm more than I wanted to. So when I do her next arm tattoo, I'll probably position her in a different way to see if it feels more intuitive for me. And with that being said, I'm not sure if there is anything else to narrate. Just please enjoy the video. Oh, also, I do want to say that some people have taken an interest to my lining video uh, using a round liner versus a round shader. And for those who are out there looking for hints and tips and whatever to tattoo, let me know what type of videos you guys want to see and um, I'll help you out as best as I can. But as for now, please enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for stopping by yet again.